all right welcome back so where do i get my clients from it's a question that i have been asked often so in this video i am going to reveal where exactly do i get my clients from and who do i like working with that and more in today's video and make sure to hit that subscribe button crush it welcome to the marketing nerds podcast my name is karan dharamsi and i am the ceo of the marketing nerds a lot of times i have been asked that hey where exactly do you get your clients from we haven't really seen those big names on your website being flaunted so you know let us know more about your clients so let's talk about that one i do not like working with big corporations my ideal customer is a small business i like working with smes or professionals and as an agency as somebody who's worked with clients across the board in the last 10 12 years you no know, now i love working with smes from the time we started the marketing nerds i have been passionate about working with smes and for also the reason that i also myself run a mid size company as a self funded company i understand what really goes on in running a small and mid sized business so i understand where the sme business owners come from that's who i like working with now coming to the question of how do i get clients well 90% of my clients come in either through our events i do a lot of events for business owners and you know when business owners attend my event they understand the kind of expertise i bring to the table the value of having me on board and having me look at their business and giving them those strategies to take the business to the next level so a lot of our clients come in from the events they apply to work with me so that's one aspect of how i acquire clients the second and the most important channel of how i acquire clients and i did this a couple of years back and this is where i get majority of my clients it's a couple of business groups that i became a member of in 2018 and these are international business groups run by really renowned entrepreneurs and business owners the annual membership to the group is 25 lakh rupees so in a way i am paying a really huge amount to get access to a group of like minded entrepreneurs and you know it's the money to get access to a network that i am able to leverage to get a lot of new international clients so that's my number one resource to get a lot of international clients and to a very small extent i also have some cold outreach that happens every single month and 10% of our clients come through the cold outreach campaigns but those are not uh, the major clients and we only have about 10% of clients which come in through the cold outreach i prefer having more clients either one who come in through the events because they are more nurtured they understand my style of working i know who they are and i have an understanding with them and it's really important when you work with clients that you have a good understanding a good rapport with them and they know who you are you know who they are as individuals and you know when that happens the partnership is really beneficial and goes on for a longer term compared to you know working with somebody cold who doesn't really know you and then you know there's a lot of time spent in conflict resolution and miscommunication and uh, the i think third and the most important question that a lot of people have asked me do you work with clients in india or international clients well i work with both but at this point majority of my clients because like i told you i'm, I'm a part of a couple of really big networks uh, are international clients thanks to the networks that i'm a part of and of course um, so if i had to roughly categorize i think about 60 to 65% clients are international clients and uh, 35% clients are from india questions like do i run facebook ad campaign uh, to get clients no uh, so far we've never run facebook ad campaign or any ad campaign to run clients even if you, you know, google search we haven't even tried to rank for any keyword for digital marketing services because i just 
have no inclination or do not like the idea of getting cold inquiries because it just goes into a different life cycle. Cold clients would come in because you ranked for a keyword and they would ask you for a proposal because there are hey, 10,000 other people who ranked for that keyword and they're asking for proposals to, with, to everybody and then they're going to compare the proposals and you know, that's not the kind of client I like and also it takes a lot of time for us to make them understand that hey the 25 lakh rupees the 50 lakh rupees a year or the one crore rupees a year uh, fee <laughs> why is that justified right a cold client would never go from zero to 25 lakh in a heartbeat but a nurtured client somebody who's been to my event is going to see the value in why we charge the big money and is not really going to take a long time to make that decision to invest because they understand the value I bring to the table, right? So that's why uh, we never majorly do cold outreach and the 10% cold outreach that I spoke about only happens internationally where we know even with the cold outreach, we will be able to get a client who would pay a certain ticket size, who would pay a certain amount that we want as a baseline. So. As I told you, I'm, uh, it's a mid-sized company. I do not have a lot of additional resources sitting on the bench. So given the resources, I really need to strategize well on where I should allocate the resources, who's going to spend how much time in converting, which client, which niche, which segment, is going, which territory is going to take the least time to convert and pay the highest in terms of volume and transaction size and then allocate the resources accordingly, right? So that's um, what I'm doing at this point. No ad campaigns, no cold outreach, no SEO. Right? It's just typically the networks and the events and you know, that's how clients come to us. This year, we've also seen an increase in the number of incoming qualified leads through the YouTube channel. So yeah, this is how I get all the clients in a nutshell. I hope this gives you an idea of how I run my agency and if you have any other questions i look forward to answering them make sure to hit the subscribe button this is me karan dharamsi signing off today from the marketing nerds podcast